Even just here for today, such a sports coming to you from Tuma here at Twickenham Ho over in the Snowy Mountains region. I think that's what the um, county is called. So it's going to be a great day here at Tuma for today's special edition of such a sports. So it's going to be a good day of coverage, of interviews and all that. And as you can see behind me, it'll be under 16s warming up for their game. So on a, I'll start off in a bit discussing about yesterday. 20 minutes into the Larry Panthers game, unfortunately Matt Pendergast had an injury, a, a leg injury and the game was called off. So in the end, that game was a draw. I also, here at Sulcy Sports, we wish Matt Pendergast a good recovery and I hope to see you soon. And good luck with that recovery and good luck. And that is that. So hopefully you go, hopefully you recover well. So that brings me to, now it's time to start this coverage with the under 16s game. So I'll now take you to the under 16s coverage right here from Tumut at Twickenham Oval.
six, Chairman Blues four. A bit over a minute remaining in the half. Here, tune it, roll back, tune it right back in the middle. Here we go, a well slotted penalty goal. First time I've recorded a penalty goal in a while.
Here we go with our under under 16s footage and I now have an interview here with the coach Stephen Box Ballard. So how do you feel the team went today? No, they went really well. Shortly, they um as uh, myself and Blackie took them over this year and um, they're improving each game as we go along. They they're, they're, their defence is solid, they're willing to listen and willing to learn, so they're going really well. To win down at Tumut's a really good effort though. Mm. Especially when Tumut were the premiers for the under 15s last year. Yeah, and as I said, the big big improvement. The kids seem to be enjoying it. They, they seem to be loving the football and they're loving the training, which is which is good to see. So they're only going to get better from here on in. So what things do you think you can improve on? Maybe we think on our improve a little bit on our attack. Like we've got it there. They just got to learn to play their positions and play them right. And uh, but defence has come along really well. They're picking up all the time in their defence. Got a nice nice bit of aggression in there in their, in their defence and um, in their attack. They got a fair bit of. Um, variety in there as well once I start clicking. And the score for that game was Thunder 20 which was 18-12 and then a penalty goal and then it made it 20 to 12. The penalty goal was by Aiden Connell and that was a well slotted down penalty goal I reckon. Yeah it was enough to seal the game with two minutes to go. Yep. And thank you for the interview. No, thanks Schultz. I will now take <laughs> you to my league tag footage. Julia Day, number two, Georgia Spitz. Number three, Madison McPherson. Number four, Danica Richards. Number five, Lily Murphy. Number six, Monique Quillock. <laughs> Go, 
and that is the end of the league tag footage. And in the end, in the, end, the league tag was a one-sided game with Albury Thunder coming out winners against Tumut Blues, 38 to nil. And what was another great game of league tag. So before I go to the uh, the before I go to the footage for the under 18s, I will now take you to my first special interview for the day in the, on in this at uh, this Tumut Blues special edition of Silksy Sports. And first cub of the ranks is Ethan Day from the under 16s. With one of the two men under 16 players, so how do you feel you played today? Oh, we went all right. We lacked on the numbers a bit. Um, but no, we got done in control a little bit in the first half, just dropped to it a bit in the second half, just due to lack of numbers and everyone didn't really know where they stood. What's it been like going up from um, junior league up to senior league? Um, it's actually a bigger step than you think. It's just another level, it lifts a bit more, and um, yeah, it's just a bigger step, another level. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna get up a couple of questions. Yep. Just I gotta find somewhere in my OneDrive. Just to know the questions I've got. Okay, now we've got some interesting questions. This is for you about some of your teammates. Yep. Who is the funniest bloke in your team? Um. Funniest bloke in my team probably have to be Brayton Keener. Who in the team thinks they are hit with the ladies? And you can't name yourself in that either. Um, uh, probably Shay Thomas. Who is the biggest pest? Biggest pest? Um, uh, typical Isaiah Ford. Who has the worst haircut? Worst haircut? Um, Oh, that's a hard one. Uh, probably Clay Webb. Yeah, he does kind of have a... <laughs> and why do you enjoy playing rugby league? Um, well, it's all there for your mates. It's another part of your life for your mates. You don't even get to see them at school and that. In the outside of school, you get to see them at footy. Play with your mates. Um, just love the game altogether. There we go. Thank you for the e right, interview, sure, Ethan. Thanks, Dave. Apes, mate. Cheers.
Hopefully you enjoyed the footage of the 18s game. In the end, it was pretty lopsided one first half, and then in the end, the under 18s ended up catching up. But unfortunately, Orby Funder under 18s went down to the Tuma Blues 26 to 24, and what was a tight game at the end of that game. So I'll now take you to the second special interview for today, which is with Reese Craig and Jacob Sturt. So hopefully you enjoy that, and then after that, I'll take you to reserve grade footage and then after the reserve grade footage I'll take you to the reserve grade score update. We got a, a second special interview for today with Jacob Sturt and Reese Clegg. Now the first question is how do you feel first grade has been so far? Um, yeah it's been it's been it's been fun. I liked it. Um, it started off a lot more physical, a lot faster. But no it's good fun. Playing with a good bunch of blokes and that. Yeah they are a good bunch of blokes. Yeah. Especially the ones that are in the human fan base, eh? Yes, definitely. Yeah. Good fellas there. <laughs> yeah, nah, it's been, it's good. It's fast. Contact's pretty heavy compared to 18s. But it's good. It's fun. Really isn't fun? No, it is fun. <laughs> as long as you don't get knocked out. Yeah, like this guy. Yeah. On. He just Can takes head knocks and doesn't play all. <laughs> <laughs> Too many concussions, eh? Yeah, They're a bad thing. <laughs> yes. So what are your future aspirations? Oh, gee. I'd like to I'd like to go on and play under twenties next year. Um, that's all yeah, that'd be my main goal at the moment. But then yeah, just while I'm while I'm still in tournament, just play hard eighteens and if I if I have to I'll play first grade and just enjoy footy. Yeah, probably sit on the bench for the resis. But nah. <laughs> um, I don't even know, just, just see where it goes. Follow footy. Um, try to play as much rep footy as you can, and fuck, there's plenty of footy to be paid, so just go with it. Get into um, any NLL. Yeah, that'd be alright, wouldn't it? No, nah, it'd be good. Just see where it takes you. Okay, the next question is if if Reese Craig took a week to stay in tournament, what places would you suggest to me? Ah, oh, gee, um, probably have to bring him along, along to school with me. Um, That'd be, I mean, that'd be fun. That'd be pretty funny. Um, He's my geez. pet for today. <laughs> yeah, just, you know, being a special kid. Um, I don't know, really. There's, there's a bit to do. I'd probably just maybe take him out the dam, down the river, gee, and to school. It'd be good. So what are you going to plan out the river? Drowning? Yes, probably. Mm, good yes, idea. Yes, yes, time up. Might put First points to the Blues. <laughs> right to number 11. Matthew Sorber. I'm going to stay in for a week. Matthew's oh, sponsored by SGW Financial Services. Well, it's the best place <laughs> to be. Yes, yes. Yeah, it's it's for all number all number seven, seven, what would you say if Jacob Sturt stayed away from the Blues? Craig is sponsored by Jeremy Pierce, J&B Electrical. I don't know. Take me to Astor. Aubrey Thunder 16. No, I don't know. Just the river. The dam. There's a heap of nightclubs. Taking to work. <laughs> <laughs> a few nightclubs. Ooh. Uh, yeah, I don't know. What about 727? Yeah, no, I'd shout him 727. Yeah. You need to shout him there. Yeah. Lucky you don't know what it is then. Yeah, what is it? A waffle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Everyone likes going there when they visit, yeah. isn't that right? Yeah. You go a bit. Yeah. Yeah, my yeah. missus works there. <laughs> <laughs> now, I always just want to go to Bunnings and I'm like, oh, I'm just popping down to Bunnings. <laughs> so, yeah, then I'm like... <laughs> Letting myself go, yeah. <laughs> Okay. Well, that brings some conclusion to this special interview, so thank you. Thanks, Shilty. Thank you. Cheers, Shilty.
that was the reserve grade footage and in the end the reserve grade side ended up coming up big winners against the Tournament Blues 44 to 12 in what was a great game of reserve grade and it was a great game to watch and it was good that I see the reserve grade coming out with a winner game. Let's see if I got the reserve grade score right which I will look on my phone and the score was 44 to 12 in reserve grade. And I'll now take you to the last video footage of the day and that is for first grade. So I'll now take you to footage of first grade and then after that I'll have a, the epic conclusion to this episode of Silksy Sports like coming to you from the beautiful town of Tiamat. So I'll now take you to first grade footage. First of all, we'd like to welcome all those uh, lovely mothers and wish them a, a happy Mother's Day. Without those mothers, we wouldn't have all those young footballers running around. Number 11, Liam Wiscombe. Number 12, Jonathan Huggins. Number 13, Red Storm. Number 14, William Kelly. Number 17, Hugh Duncan. The team is coached by Adrian Purcell. The team manager is David Cardwell.
And that brings an end to the first great fixture and in the end the team of Blues came out winners against the Orby Thunder. 28 to 18 in what was a good game of first grade footy. But unfortunately, Orby Thunder couldn't get away with the win. And next week, we are playing young at home at Greenfield Park. So don't forget to come to that game as well. Now, that brings me an end to this special edition of Silsey Sports coming to you from Tumut. So, thank you to everyone I did an interview with today. Thank you to Ethan Day. Thank you to um, Reese Clegg. And Thank you to Jacob Sturton, thank you to all the other teammates, oh, and the, everyone that's in my teammate fan base. It was good to see you all and hopefully you yes, have good games in the up and coming weeks. So that means the next, my next away game will not be for a few more weeks now since we've got two home games. So I'll catch you all at the next away game, which will be in three or four weeks time. I think there's a bye between it, but you can check the calendar for that. So. That brings me now to an end to this Silksy Sport. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And you can also catch up with all the previous videos. Like, and all. remember that Silksy Sports is your only number one destination for away game coverage. And also the Facebook page is your number one destination for score results for Lavia Panthers. So thank you for watching this brilliant Silksy Sports. And hopefully everyone has a safe week. And until next time, bye for now.